and they're off in the Shoemaker Mile, and Desert Stone Dwelt was just standing there as the gate opened. Bolo begins swiftly and takes command at once, sprinting away by two and a half lengths. Ohio second, and Sharp Samurai comes away in third. Laken is down at the rail, catapult between horses, and Delta Prince outside of that pair. And River Boyne is one from the fence, about four lengths off of Bolo. Another two back to Bowie's hero, and slow starting Desert Stone is at the back. Around the first turn they go, chasing Bolo, who tries to slow things down. Leads it by two lengths to Ohio second with Sharp Samurai outside of him. Laken, River Boyne right together with Catapult and Delta Prince four wide, five off the leader. Another four back to Bowie's Hero and a similar margin to Desert Stone with a half mile to go in the Shoemaker Mile. Bolo the controlling speed, leads it by almost two. Ohio, Sharp Samurai second and third throughout. Laken at the rail, River Boyne covered up, Catapult three wide. Delta Prince has dropped off of that trio, has about eight to make up. He's followed by Bowie's Hero and Desert Stone. A quarter of a mile to go. Bolo, Ohio comes to tackle him. Sharp Samurai in the blue blinkers. River Boyne down at the rail. Catapult swings into action. Delta Prince has too much to do. There's an eighth of a mile to go. Bolo keeps on going. River Boyne on the inside. Catapult far outside. Bowie's Hero. But Bolo has something left for the final 16th, and it's going to be Bolo coast to coast in the Shoemaker Mile. Tight photo for second. Either River Boyne or an oncoming Bowie Zero. Three way photo behind them Sharp Samurai, Catapult, or Delta Prince. In the winner's circle for the grade one Shoemaker Mile number six, Bolo. Seven-year-old Dark Bay or Brown Gelding by Temple City out of Aspen Mountain. Owned by Golden Pegasus Racing Incorporated. The winning trainer is Carla Gain and the jockey Florent Giroux. Bolo was bred in Kentucky by Spendthrift Farm. The running time, 134.07 seconds. The Shoemaker Mile, a win and you're in for the Breeders' Cup Mile Division. Ladies and gentlemen, as we honor the memory of one of our game's legendary all-time greats, Bill Shoemaker, we are proud to welcome Miss Courtney Reed from the Breeders' Cup and one of the shoe's closest friends and a trusted colleague, trainer Patty Gallagher, as together they present today's Shoemaker, Shoemaker Mile trophy. Please join us in welcoming Courtney Reed and Patty Gallagher as they present the grade one Shoemaker Mile trophy. Thank you, Frank, and I'll tell you, this is why we love horse racing. On any given day, we can make magic happen, and Bolo gets the first win in your in in the Shoemaker Mile, winning rider Florent Giroux. Florent, that was an amazing ride. Take us to the race. Uh, first amazing horse and amazing job, you know, by uh, Carla and, uh, and her team, you know. Uh, she had the horse ready, and uh, actually last time uh, the horse ran better than the way it looks like. You know, it was a little bit uh, far for him going a minor eight. And he only got beat like a leg and a half, you know. So uh, I had the, all the confidence in the world, you know. The horse uh, was ready this time, and actually uh, the screws uh, felt pretty tight. What point of the race did you say to yourself, I think we got this? Honestly, right from the beginning, he worked so sharp, and I was able to make the lead, you know, very easily. And ears were going back and forth, you know. I just felt like the horse took a few uh, good breathers, you know, during the race. And I thought, you know, from that point, he was going to be very harsh to catch. 
I like the fact you said to Carla, whatever you do, don't ship this horse, leave him here. <laughs> yes, exactly. You know, I don't think she had any intention of going anywhere. Uh, uh, I think that's just, uh, I'm going to have to try to find my way out to make come back here. Well, we want to make sure you show up. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, let's talk to Carla Gaines. Carla, I know you don't like to do this, but this is special. I, special. We always talk about those labor of love, but a horse that hadn't been seen since February of 2017. What was going into your mind the first race back in April and then to come around for this race? The, the first race in April was a bit far for him and he hadn't run in so many, in two years, basically two years. So it was sort of, let's get him out there and let him carve out some easy fractions and see if he can keep going, which he got a little tired in the end, but today he didn't. I know, obviously, <laughs> you're a win in the end. I know that you're a person of few words, but w emotionally, what is going through your mind right now? Because you just don't see this at this level. Oh, I, I'm about to cry, okay? <laughs> so don't push the envelope. <laughs> but um, I'm really, really happy for my team, really happy for Keith Brackpool and his group, Tim, the whole bunch. Um, they allowed me to take the time to get the horse back at a very genteel and slow pace, and it worked. Well, Carla, we really appreciate it. Everybody here loves you, and we're so happy, hopefully, and we're going to cross our fingers. We want to see this one in November. Sounds good to me. Sounds good. We got our first win in the year end, and it's Bolo at a big price.